Welcome to the press conference for the 2024 NCAA Division III Baseball Championship for the Endicott Goals. After the Goals, 12-4 loss today to Misericordia. Goals do finish with a school record 47 wins. Coach, talk about today's game and about the season of this team. This, this whole season was a gift. There's no question to me it's a gift from God. Um, what this program's about, what this life is about to me, and we talk about this as who we are, and I want to share it with everybody who's watching. Uh, it's about family. Our family is our home, the place where we know we belong, where we turn when we need comfort, support, advice, or help. It's where we can be ourselves, where we do not need to pretend, where we are accepted and loved, where we can relax, where we can grow, where no one is allowed to take themselves too seriously, and where we can laugh. Our family is where we learn the balance between looking out for ourselves and looking out for each other. These young men, um, all of them collectively embodied that all year long, and that's all that matters to me. We talked about this whole thing and what matters most, and the relationships these young men built together, the character they grew, throughout the course of this season, um, how they become young men, how they become fathers, how they become better brothers, better citizens, better people. That's all that matters as we go through this. We're certainly disappointed that the season has ended because we can no longer spend time together and build those relationships and build those memories and build that love. Uh, but we know we'll be coming back together and continue to foster that family relationship through this program as long as we're here. So. Um, that's all that matters. That's all we want to focus on now and spend more time together. Before we take questions, that was head coach Brian Haley. We're joined also by Brendan O'Neill, Danny McDougall, and John Mulready. Questions for the coach and players. Um, Brendan, um, sort of talk about your career um, you're coming to an end. Um, you've had two very successful years um, at Endicott. Uh, just one, just oh, one just successful one. year at Endicott. Um, so, so actually, I I haven't played baseball in four years um, due to COVID, um, and I was I was lucky enough to uh, to decide to go and get my MBA, um, and I, I texted my undergraduate coach, who's very good friends with Coach Haley, um, and asked him if I had eligibility left while I was going to go to grad school, and he said that I actually did, um, and so I connected with Coach Haley and. And that was that, and it's been it's been a really wonderful ride uh, with this group of gentlemen, um, this team, the coaches, all the coaching staff, um, everybody involved. It's been it's been a really incredible ride to be a part of. Does that mean you're like do you feel like a did you did you feel like a mentorship kind of thing with the younger guys then this year? Because then if I'm doing math, you know, I'm, I'm putting you at like 25, 25 yeah, 25. Years. Yeah. Yep. Do I, it's gonna be a different feeling, right? Um. Yeah, I mean it's it's very different from uh, from my first experience in college baseball, um, but I, I think that that helped me a lot to kind of um, be a be a more mature individual and um, to really try and help kind of the uh, the younger guys along uh, both baseball and outside. Um, it's a kind of same question, John, <coughs> because this last couple of years has put Endicott really on the baseball map. Yeah, I mean. Um, this doesn't happen with great, without great leaders before us, you know, creating a culture of, you know, winning and, and brotherhood and, and playing for each other and, and playing for the guy next to you. And, uh, you know, I was thankful enough to come into a culture of that and, you know, keep it going. But this year and specifically, I couldn't be more proud of the guys and, and all the work that they put in day in and day out on the field, off the field, creating those relationships. And, uh, you know, we traveled here with 29 guys. And, you know, we have a bunch more guys back at home, but it doesn't happen without every single guy being bought into the same goal. But, yeah, we came up short, but that doesn't really matter to me at this point. I'm just so happy to be a part of this special group and, and couldn't be more proud of my teammates. Um, Danny, you still have time. Um, just talk about how the experience you have here it may be a driving factor next year to try to come back and try to work here. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I came in last year after the team had won you know, what I think is the program's first regional the year before. So, you know, we took a step forward then. Last year we won a super regional, took another step forward. This is, you know, the first experience I've had where we've kind of had the same end result. So I think the driving factor is to, you know, get over the next hump. I think, you know, you know we didn't win a game 
last year here. We won a game this year, so I guess that's another step. But I mean, the big step you want to take is to win the whole thing. So um, just getting over the next hill, the next mountain, I think is really the driving factor because I'd say we didn't fully accomplish that this year. But you know, our record shows it, and the great relationships we have show it. And, you know, the good baseball shows there are plenty of things we accomplished, but there's certainly you know one big thing that we did. So I think that's if there's any motivation for next year that we need, it's pretty right in front of our face. Um, John, it's pretty clear that the coach thinks the world of the players. Um, what, what was it like to play for Coach Hayden? Um, you know, there's really not the correct, there's, there's really not one word to describe it. Um, I feel honored and, and extremely thankful. I guess those are two words that I can pick up to, to play for such a great leader, Coach Haley, and, and I, I couldn't be you know, more thankful to be a part of this family. Our leader at the end of the day, and he really sets the tone for us and gets us bought into something that's really special. And then it's our job to you know, kind of share that through the team, you know, behind the scenes. But I, I just can't thank him enough for everything that he's done for me in this group, and um, I'm very proud to be a part of part of his squad. Final question for the coach or players, Coach Haley. Can you just talk about the support back home? Um, obviously, you know, we host the Super Regional, probably the most packed we've seen. Ever, at least maybe in your tenure, possibly. Um, and then the support out here, families driving, families back at home watching. Uh, just talk about what that means to you and the guys. It seems to me that when you have success, it draws people together. Um, it draws the alumni closer together. It draws the families closer together. It draws the college closer together. It draws everyone closer together. And, and that doesn't happen by any one person or even a team. It's a collective effort. But the, the outreach, the togetherness, the love that's being shared through alumni, and we're getting blown up all the time with, you know, Coach, it's amazing to see these guys still performing the way, competing the way that we performed 15, 16, 17 years ago, and it looks exactly the same, and they're still doing their thing, and we're so proud to be a part of it. Um, that makes me so happy and so proud, Sean, and being a part of Endicott and the college and, and the athletic department and this team and his family, it, it just makes me really proud because we have great people. Like, there's just good people here, like great people. Like, that's what this is about. And again, the relationships and the pride we feel for each other, it's just, it is different. It's special, it's a special place. And I appreciate every second of this journey with these guys, and I appreciate Endicott. Um, it's amazing. Gentlemen, thank you.